Greetings to everyone. My name is Darko Damjanovic and I'm going to present you a paper titled Finite Element Analysis of ABS Printed Lattice Structure. This research was carried out by all authors listed here and I want to thank to all on collaboration. As it is obvious from the title of this research, the main subject uh, within this research is porous structure. The current situation in the industrial production requires components to be manufactured quickly and flexibly not only in terms of production efficiency, but also in terms of business competitiveness. In line with this trend, the production potential of sophisticated components, including components with lightweight porous structure, is of course increasing. The weight of such components is significantly lower compared to solid body due to presence of cavities in the structure. That opens a lot of possibilities for their use in wide range of industries ranging, from automotive and aerospace engineering to navy and civil engineering up to biomedicine and so on. These functional lightweight bodies can impart to the products an unusual combination of utility properties, such as their high strength, accompanied by relatively low weight and good energy absorption. By appropriately selecting the cell geometry in the structure, the mechanical properties of the potential components can be controlled, which in turn enables the behavior of such components to be predicted and simulated in practice. The effort to incorporate sophisticated structures into the design of components is motivated by the desire of increase the product added value and reduce the consumption of expensive materials. Porous structure is possible to consider a solid phase with cavities. Mechanical properties depend mainly on the material, the topology of the structure, including geometry and relative density, or the so-called volume ratio. These porous structures can provide the product with extraordinary combination of properties in relation to their weight when compared to solid materials. Volume ratio VR with the designation VR of solid phase expresses how many percent of the cell space is filled by material and it is given by this equation. So volume of solid phase and total volume of course in percentage. There are a number of types of porous structures. So-called cellular materials are characterized by periodic or stochastic arrangements for open or closed cell types with either two-dimensional cell configurations, three-dimensional poly polyhedral layouts or triple periodic complex structures. The mechanical properties of regular structures are better controlled and basic buildings units of geometric geometrically defined porous structures are cells that are created by simple bodies, for example, cube, cylinder or sphere. These geometries are usually easy and well modeled in CAD applications. To investigate the behavior of a simple lattice structure, two approaches were selected within this research, experimental and numerical analysis. A simple BCC cell with cylindrical struts was chosen for this research. The basic cell, which is presented here, the basic cell was regularly distributed in all dire directions, X, Y and Z where the basic cell size is 10 mm, so size A is 10 mm. The dimensions of individual experimental specimens were controlled by the relations relation X times Y times Z is equal to 6A times 7A times 8A. And if we take into account cell size of 10 mm, in the end we have the total size of the sample 60 times 70 times 80 mm. Volume ratio taken into account within this research is 70, is about 70%. And it is important to mention here that the diameter of the strut, so phi D is 4 millimeters. Within this research, the plastic material ABS in 3D printed form was chosen. Why? Due to its physical properties, this material is very often chosen to produce a wide range of components for use in relatively safe machines that are easy to operate. It is resist resistant to abrasion and high temperatures and it is lightweight as well. Its mechanical properties such as impact and tensile strength as well as stiffness are very good. Moreover, it has a good surface quality and flame retardancy. It is recyclable and available to both professionals and general public. Consequently, it can be concluded that ABS is an ideal material for the production of inexpensive prototypes and architectural models for engineers or research departments, as well as for the creation of inexpensive material handling equipment. First of all, preliminary experimental tests have shown that the maximal strength stress of ABS filament used for the samples production correspond to the producer de declaration. 
Maximal limit strength of ABS filaments at experimental analysis where five pieces of length 100 mm were tested results range from 40.7 MPa to, to about 50 MPa. So average of those four tests are is 45.18 MPa. Just a few things more about 3D printing. Everybody knows what is 3D printing and nobody doubts that the additive manufacturing is one of the most developing technologies today. This technology provides the possibility to produce the parts from metals or from plastics. In our case, from plastics, one of the most commonly used technology is FDM or technology or FFF technology. And important to mention here is that those are practically the same technologies. This is only a trademark issue. The main advantage of this production method is its possibility to produce parts with very complex geometry which is not possible to make by, by classical conventional methods. Typical parts are casting modules with internal cooling channels or components with curved surfaces. These technologies for, for sure is the ideal for production of functional prototypes. So what about pressure test, which is, which is the most important experimental test here within this research? Very simple experimental setup, but very complex geometry. Pressure tests were carried out according to the standard European norm ISO 604 using the Cvik 1456 testing machine at ambient temperature of 22 degrees and relative humidity of 60%. Cross beam feed was 1 mm per minute and all experimentally obtained results are in means of four displacement diagram. Here you can see two examples of uh, performed pressure test on two samples. Second part of this research deals with F, uh, finite element analysis of the lattice structure. It is obvious from this picture, as already said, lattice structure is an extremely complex structure in terms of geometry. So it is very, very important to have a correct finite element analysis proce procedure to analyze such a structure. When you, when you have a complex geometry to analyze, first important thing to, to do is to make a mesh sensitivity study. Let's call that the previous FEM analysis. And in that sense, a lot of models are analyzed in terms of various output, such as reaction force on upper plate, stresses, displacements, and CPU time. For all mesh results, seven different mesh sizes are compared. For smallest, which is 2 mm, and you can see here some details of the meshes, to the largest, which is uh, 14 mm, and also you, have, you, you can see here some details on the mesh. It is important to mention here that when you generate the mesh, mesh model is used for further analysis. So on the mesh on the mesh model, you will add boundary conditions and the end you will present the results. No on 3D model with which you imported in the first case. So everything depends on the mesh. Just briefly about the material model applied. So elastoplastic material model has been applied within this research. While here on the diagram, plastic part is presented. I need to mention that in the final paper, all the parameters of elastic and plastic part will be uh, presented, so in the final paper. As already mentioned, all finite element simulation are compared in means of maximal principal stresses, reaction force on upper plate, displacement and CPU time. CPU time here means only time to gain the solution, not to prepare the model for analysis, so only time to gain the solution. Regarding the boundary conditions, in order to get the most comparable results to the experimental one, simulations are set up on a way that specimen is placed between two rigid plates, controlling the displacement of the upper plate. On that way, it is possible to monitor reaction force on the upper plate and to gain a four displacement curve as the result of simulation. Other boundary conditions are presented here, so lattice, lattice itself is modeled as 3D, 3D deformable model, while the upper and lower plate are modeled as analytical rigid surface. So upper plate also lower plate. Boundary conditions in means of displacements and rotations on upper lower plate also can be, he can be seen here. So upper plate has displacement uh, preloaded, preloaded with uh, 2.5 millimeters. So this is, uh, this is this is thing that I mentioned on the previous slide, where the upper plate is controlling, is, uh, simulation is set up by controlling the displacement. So displacement of upper plate is 2.5 millimeters here. Regarding the contact between upper plate and lattice structure, as well as lower plate and lattice structure, normal and tangential behavior are defined. In normal direction, hard contact is applied with a low separation after contact. 
In tangential direction, penalty, penalty formulation is applied with friction coefficient of 0.2. Important to mention here is that in literature there are a number of various approaches to FEM analysis of such a structure. One of them, for example, do not include any contact between place and lattice itself. In that case, there are no tangential displacement between place and lattice while, de while de deforming, which is not correct at all. This approach within this paper represents reality which occurs in pre pressure tests much more for sure. From the previous study on mesh sensitivity, it has been concluded that mesh element size of 6 mm gain reliable results for reasonable time. So here, as an example of firm results, stresses are presented for finite element size of 6 mm. Must to mention here that in final paper all the mesh sensitivity study diagrams will be shown as well as comparison of experimental and numerical part. Here only example of results is shown in means of displacements and stresses for Mises and maximum principal stress. Further, here are also presented finite element results in means of maximal principal stresses in various cross section at the middle of the lattice structure. And finally some concluding remarks. Preliminary tests have shown that the maximal strength stress of the ABS filament used for the samples production co corresponds to the producer declaration. This research is focused on experimental and numerical analysis of a simple T structure loaded quasi-statically by compression, which will form the basis for simulation of the behavior of more complex structures embedded in the kernel of the real components. Regarding FEM analysis, a lot of simulations are performed previously in order to determine the convergence of the mesh. So to to conclude which element size is the best choice in means of reliable results and a reasonable time to get the solution. In that, se in that sense, a lot of uh, various element sizes are used and compared in means of stresses, reaction force on upper plate, displacements and CPU time, and it is concluded that the finite element mesh size of 6 mm is the best choice. Taking into account performed experimental tests as well as numerical analysis, correct and reliable FEM produced procedure to analyze such a structure will be presented within this paper. Also in the ordinary PC or workstation, FEM analysis of such a complex structure takes a lot of time. So in some future investigation, plan is to analyze various models of the same lattice, for example to analyze only the unit cell of same lattice, then model with 8 unit cells, further with 27 unit cells and so on. On that way, plan is to conclude is it possible to make FEM analysis of unit cells itself of various linear patterns in order to shorten time needed to gain the solution of the whole lattice structure? Thank you all for your attention.